are looking at a MaxTrack Live Doppler that at the moment is quiet, but that'll change maybe about the time we are speaking at 11 o'clock tonight, maybe a little bit thereafter. We'll have rain at first, and then life gets a little more interesting because tomorrow you get served the entire weather buffet. Take your choice. What would you like? Would you like a little something? Yeah, we've got that. You want some wind? We're going to have plenty of that. Some rain? A little. Snow, perhaps, if you're very good, we'll bring a little your way. But as we get you to the weekend, okay, your chances for snow are increasing. We get you the winter platter. It's blustery, it's cold, and there will be snow showers and some snow squalls around where it can snow really hard. 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then it goes away, and then you can watch it kind of melt from both the bottom up and the top down as temperatures hover around freezing. Then next week, the other side of the weather menu. Get rid of the winter stuff. We're talking some warmth and some rain with a system cutting up to our west. So where is the system now? What's going to be bothering us? It's that guy, which is dropping from Minnesota down to Iowa. Uh, you're seeing the counterclockwise spin. You're seeing the snow flying. There are blizzard warnings with this system. The cold front now is getting into western Kentucky. The rain tucked in still on the other side of the Mississippi River. So let's take you to 11 o'clock tonight. The front's at about I-65. We still have nice southerly winds. It's still mild. Look at the rotation there. That is really impressive. It's a good winter low. It's dropping south then at 3 a.m. The front is crossing I-75. We've got some light rain coming through. Rain gets a little more widespread by your morning commute tomorrow, especially east of I-75. But as the cold air catches the back edge, maybe a little snow around that'll be falling. I don't expect any problems with that stuff tomorrow morning. Then by the middle of the day, we're in what's called the dry slot. The jet stream will be roaring right overhead. As that happens, it's windy. You might see a little bit of sunshine. But look again at that swirl as the snow rages in Iowa and Missouri. By the time we get you in the latter part of the day tomorrow, now we're getting into the unstable air and snow showers will break out. Some of these will be snow squalls where you get the wind and the snow and it comes down hard. You can get a brief minor accumulation. The roads could even slicken up some. So do be aware of that, but it's not going to be widespread and it's not going to last. Now Saturday, let's do this all over again, but more with a winter feel. It's going to be a blustery day. It's going to be a day where snow showers will be around and they'll become more prominent latter part of the afternoon into the evening. So again, Minor accumulations are going to be a possibility for most. It's going to be less than an inch total through the course of the weekend. But at any one time, you could still have some snow on the ground and some travel issues. Temperatures tomorrow around the bluegrass will be in the low 40s. They'll be in the low 40s also as we look to eastern Kentucky across the southeast. Same idea, low end mid 40s. So see, during the day, we're warm enough that it will be some rain showers mixed with the snow, but it gets colder later in the day. All right, your forecast for tonight. Increasing clouds, the rain will arrive. Could have some snow trying to mix in by morning. Overnight lows right around freezing. Clouds and rain early, then some sunshine. Rain and snow showers tomorrow, latter part of the day. We're in the low 40s, but likely into the upper 30s by your morning or your evening commute. It's low 30s on Saturday. Snow showers, some minor accumulations possible. Same story on Sunday, and a few flurries may last into MLK Day on Monday.